plants and trees around your home not only make it look more beautiful, but if planted right, can help save you energy and money. Meet Patty Reisinger. Patty is a horticulturist and an ISA certified arborist and has been planting vegetation for over 30 years. She's gonna show us how to landscape a home with energy efficiency in mind. Patty, how does landscaping help save energy? Well, trees help homeowners reduce their energy costs by just simply shading the home. So a tree to the east and to the west can help reduce energy costs. So homeowners really need to have an understanding of where their home sits in terms of northeast, south, and west, right? Right, we have to think of the angle of the sun uh, and where it is in the summer and the winter to maximize energy savings. So if we plant to the east of the home, like this one, or to the west, we're going to reduce the heat that hits the house and so then we can reduce the energy cost. If we do plant to the south, we'd want to have it a distance from the home so that during the winter time, the branches would not be shading the home, home's roof because if it did, then we'd be losing some of the solar gain that we could get in the winter. What kind of trees, Patty? Well, certainly trees that are hardy for your area. So think about soil types, where you are in the country, deciduous trees, trees that drop their leaves each fall. It might be oak trees. Okay. It might be locust trees. Could be Kentucky coffee tree, a service berry. Uh, trees have various sizes, so you want to make sure that you have room for it in your yard. And, and planting a tree in the life of a tree can really save, we're talking about some energy and some dollars, right? Yes, it depends on the type of the tree that you plant, but the energy department has calculated that three strategically placed trees near a home can save the average homeowner $100 to $200 per year in an energy cost. And I think that's conservative yeah. for our area. So there really uh, is a, it's a return for the homeowner uh, in, in a short time. I remember after one meeting, uh, a guy came up to me and said he had a large shade tree like this that dominated his home. And he said uh, after a storm, that tree came down and his utility bill went up $50 a month. Wow. So for him, the loss of that one tree was significant. Most definitely, most definitely. Evergreens around the house, how do we, how do we think about that? Usually I would have you focus to the west and northwest side of your building. The predominant winds are from the west in the winter time. So all of the trees in a community help slow the winter wind, and then that would help reduce the energy costs in the winter time. As a windbreak, really. Right, they're creating a windbreak. Even one tree can help slow the winter wind. If we have space, I'd plant two or three with your family home. Many folks have their air conditioning units sitting out outside their house. How can we work to make that more efficient? Well, if we provide shade for the air conditioning unit, that helps it run more efficiently. We've got a good example over here. Let's, let's go take, take a look. Let's take a look. Patty, shading our air conditioner unit, what do we need to keep in mind? Well, it's important to provide afternoon shade for the air conditioner unit. It helps it to run more efficient. Providing that afternoon shade and making sure that the plant material does not grow into the air conditioner unit is important. You want to keep good airflow around the unit and also so that there's room for the unit to be maintained from time to time. And you were saying that's, that's a common mistake. We don't think about that when the air conditioner's humming away in August, we can do something about that. I'd say many homes can uh, use this tip to improve the efficiency of their unit and uh, reduce costs. So make sure there's afternoon shade for your air conditioner unit. What other kind of you know, common mistakes do you see that uh, in terms of landscaping we're not considering? Well, people forget about how large these trees grow. They'll plant what well, they may think is a small tree, but it grows to be a very large tree. So they have to think about looking up, are there utility lines that those trees may come in conflict with, or would they grow into the house? We want to make sure there's full room for those trees to go to their full size. Now, you're holding some utility flags. Also, we got to think about when, before we dig to plant that tree, make a call, right? That's right. We want everyone, whether you're planting a tree or making a new patio area, that you call before you dig. In many areas, it's 811, but make sure you call the utilities at least 48 hours before any digging to make sure that the uh, underground utilities are located and also to check out uh, above ground utilities. 
keep everyone safe and make sure everything keeps running. Now, if someone's having some water issues in their yard, trees can help uh, kind of deal with that, right? Right. In soggy areas, trees can be a solution. As trees grow, especially the large growing trees, they can use hundreds of gallons of water. So it can make a difference uh, matching up the tree to a site and it'll help reduce that sogginess maybe in your backyard. Some, some good things to keep in mind. I mean, landscaping can make a difference in terms of the energy usage and saving money. Exactly. Patty, thanks for sharing your green thumb with us. And if you'd like to learn more about energy efficiency in landscaping or how to plant a tree, visit our website at powerhousetv.com.